CJI. D.Y. Chandrachur has now hailed the union budget, stating that the government of India allocated 7,000 crore rupees for the third phase of e-courts project. This will help to enhance the accessibility of judicial institutions and improve the efficiency of the justice delivery system in India. Such endeavours ensure that the courts truly reach out to every citizen of the country. And it certainly seems that uh, this could prove to be a landmark move as far as enhancing the accessibility of judicial institutions is concerned. And that is perhaps what also uh, explains the CGI D.Y. Chandrachur now hailing uh, the union budget of this year where the government of India has allocated 7 crore, crore rupees for the third phase of e-courts. For more details, let's quickly go across to Ananya, who's on the phone line. Ananya, um, it is important to talk about how, how crucial this allocation is going to be. Remember, uh, till last year, uh, India was struggling with, uh, with cases which were pending. And uh, what could this mean now for speedier resolution of cases? Well, uh, you know, uh, this is a very, very uh, accepted move that is coming from uh, the union government. And in fact, the Chief Justice of India, Justice uh, Dhananjay Eshwant, the Chandrachur, has also acknowledged the same. In fact, that today, uh, while the celebrations for the Supreme Court's uh, foundation, they were going on, uh, Justice Chandrachur said that the union government's allocation of, uh, in fact, 7,000 crores for the third phase of the e-courts project will help to enhance the accessibility of the judicial institution and would uh, improve the efficiency of the justice delivery system in the India. Such endeavors will ensure that the court truly reach out to the citizens of the country is what the CGI said. Now, uh, CNN News 18 has been reporting on this particular project that is there, this prestigious project that was uh, devised by the e and is being um, rendered under the ages of the Ministry of Law and Justice. And uh, very, very clearly, we brought in the initial details of this project. What is what is it coming with? Uh, if you remember, there was, there was the, the virtual hearing are a part of it. Another thing is that there are judicial records hmm. to be, um, <laughs> in fact, converted electronically. And electronically available uh, judicial system is being prepared by uh, and in fact, paperless judiciary is being uh, in, uh, under the plan of this third phase of the e-course project. It's a very, very prestigious project of the government of India and also uh, has been curated by the committees of the of the country. So, somewhere or the other, this would pan out and would create a system wherein justice delivery becomes easier, more accessible and would also be... Uh, reaching out to each and everyone, just like the Prime Minister says, the Antyodhya Yojana, the uh, reaching to the last uh, mile is also yes. what the initiative of this particular yes. Ecode project's third phase would be. Many thanks to you, Ananya. And remember, it was D.Y. Chatrachur, the CGI, who has been the driving force behind this move, as has also been appreciated by the law minister, Mr. Kiran Rijiju. Uh,